Hi, today we're going to have a look at how to create a sliding caption effect. So when we mouse over the image, the caption with some description slides on top of the image. So uh, let's go back to our browser. First of all, obviously download the exercise files. You'll find a CSS folder with a uh, core.css file, images folder, which will only contain the transparent on PNG. Uh, all the other images you're gonna have to source from somewhere and obviously uh, adjust the uh, dimensions of it. Uh, then we have index.html file with the structure, the main structure of the uh, HTML page already uh, created. Then we also have JS folder with core.js and the latest at the time of, of this recording version of jQuery. So now that we are ready, let's start with our index.html in between the opening and closing body tag. I'm going to close the browser here. Uh, we're going to start with the section because we use an HTML5 here. ID wrapper in between the section tags. We're going to create the unordered list with the ID of images. And we start with the first li tag, and inside of this, we're going to have image with the source to our images folder. So images, and I've already have uh, six images over there. Um, they are uh, named sequentially, so it's 01.jpg. Then we have alt tag, which will be some image one description. Then we will have width which in my case is 200 height which is also 200 and then we close image tag we can copy all this i'm going to copy this and paste five times more so we've got four five and six and i'm just simply going to change the number here to point to the right image and obviously caption to refer the same image number and six is the last one and that's actually everything in our side of our index.html so if we save the file and close it open the file browser uh, now we're going to open the uh, core.css file and we start with the definition for all tags so star symbol margin will be zero padding zero uh, border we want none then we have outline, none. Then we have color. We will use F, F, F. Font size, we will use 12 pixels. Then we go for the body tag. And inside of the body tag, we're gonna start with font family, which will simply use Arial, Verdania. and sans serif then we go for text align body will have center padding 30 from the top and bottom left and right zero line height we're going to use 20 pixels and background color we're going to set as 172d3b okay after the body tag i'm going to create a few new lines here after the body tag we have uh, combined uh, definition for wrapper and images. They both will have width of 615 pixels and text align left. Then we have just wrapper, which will have margin zero from the top and bottom and out of from left and right. Then we go for images and we're going to apply a line uh, list style none so we get rid of uh, all those bullet points. Then we have images li and here we have float left display block width we have 200 pixels height will also be 200 pixels cursor will be the pointer um, then position will be relative 
then we have margin from a top zero from right five pixels from the bottom five pixels and from left uh, zero and then the last thing we need to do here is overflow which will be hidden okay then we have if i copy this then we have li span caption and caption will have width of 160 pixels to allow us to put some padding later on height will be 60 pixels and now padding will have 20 pixels for, from top right bottom and left uh, then we have position absolute uh, and then we have top we want 200 pixels so basically the image is going to be hidden it's going over the the height of the of the li tag left is zero color will have fff though we i don't think we actually have to define this because we've defined this here for all of the tags so we can practically remove this uh, then we have font style which will be italic you obviously don't have to do it you can you can use as normal font weight i want to be bold i also want font size to be slightly larger so 18 pixels and then we have background image url images and we have this transparent gif uh, sorry png file and we have repeat and a position zero and zero okay so that's everything in our css file in the next video we're going to have a look at our core.js file